for about 10 days to camp and try out some uh, thoughts that I had that might help the boys. We divided the boys up into patrols. Each patrol had its own leader and its own assistant leader. Anything that the boys decided to do, they decided to do as a patrol, not as individuals. No adult leaders were allowed to help them make their decisions. They made their own decisions. They learned how to put up tents and how to take care of themselves in the wild. They even learned compass work and they learned how to read the stars, much as you're going to do this week. The experiment itself was a total success. I went back and I rewrote my book, Aids to Scouting, and it became, became known as Scouting for Boys. The ideas within the book spread throughout England like wildfire. Troops and patrols sprung up all over. All because of one little book that I wrote for the Army. In 1910, scouting came to America, right here where we are now. And it has grown and grown and grown to where we have several million boys in the scouting movement in America alone. And you boys are part of that great tradition. I hope that you will all learn from your scouting experience, and I'm praying that each and every one of you becomes a leader in your own right. I'm going to ask you to stand now, if you would. I want you to make the scout sign and follow me in the <coughs> scout over. On my honor, I'll do my best to do my duty to God and my country and to obey the scout law, to help other people at all times, to keep myself physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight. Two. Let me be seated. Unfortunately now, I have to use the cheat. I want you to think about the words you just spoke. <laughs> On my honor, I will do my best. What does that mean to you? Think about it. Our honor.